Well, hey, y'all. In honor of Memphis in May, I have come in the house to uh, change clothes and cut the cool off. I've been tire washing. But I'm going to crank up the old pellet grill and cook some ribs and some kielbasa. Now, let me show you what I'm going to do first off. I'm going to mix up my rub. Now, the original rub that I like to use calls for two-thirds of a cup of cayenne powder. And um, that's not right. Uh, cayenne chili powder. <laughs> it's been a day. So, let's just see. It calls for two-thirds of a cup. Let's see how much we have here. It'll be fine, whatever it is. Um, hmm. It's about a little less than a half of a cup. So, we're going to adjust. So, I'm going to use about a fourth of a cup. I'm not even going to measure it. About a fourth of a cup or so of onion powder and garlic powder. So, we're just going to eyeball it because it's going to be fine. Whatever it is. There we go. All righty. Now, let's get us some garlic powder action going here. Use about the same amount. Now, you can customize these rubs, y'all. Um, the biggest thing that I enjoy, well, well first off, because we got all this stuff laying around. This is cayenne. And I'm not going to stump my toe, so I'm going to use the back of my spoon here. <clears throat> we have all this stuff laying around. And there we go. What does that look like? Uh, almost a teaspoon. And I don't add any MSG. So, yay for that. Okay, let's add about almost a teaspoon of salt. Now, this is a spice that I picked up at Townsend Spice in Melbourne, Arkansas. It's a Worcestershire powder. Isn't that interesting? I wonder how they made that. I don't know. Of course, now, you know, you could call it Worcestershire sister sauce. <laughs> let's see, I'm going to use about, let's use about a teaspoon of that. Put the lid back on there. All right, now, let's get the lid on. I'm going to shake it up. Now, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to turn my pellet grill on 225, and I've just got some uh, kielbasa. Now, these are butterball turkey sausage. This is the only one they had that did not have MSG. So, that made my decision easy, didn't it? And then I've just got some uh, St. Louis-style ribs I'm going to put together and put out there. So let's just, let's see what we think here. Let's see. What's that mean? Needs a little sugar. Let me get my muck fruit. Okay, now you can use your favorite sugar. You can use uh, <clears throat> whatever you like. Muck fruit happens to be my favorite sugar substitute. So I'm just going to add a what does that look like? Two teaspoons. There we go. Now, the reason my hat is off to Memphis in May and doing this recipe is there is a restaurant in Memphis called The Rendezvous. And whenever I was growing up, you know, it was only an hour from home. And so that was the place to go. It was so, the history there, I just, I just love it, love it, love it. So, when you're waiting for your food, you can order a cheese platter, which is what we're going to do today. We'll do ribs on another episode, but I'm going to cook this on the pellet grill, and we'll get back together, and I'll show you how the rendezvous in Memphis puts together their cheese platter. So, I'll see y'all back when this comes out the grill. All right, y'all. These were out on the grill for, let's see, it is about two hours on 225 and the ribs are still out there and I'm going to go take them up and wrap them in some peach paper. But what we're here, what we're here to talk about today is the happy plate because when people, now this is just some, let's see, extra sharp cheddar cheese. When people are standing around waiting for you to get everything on the table, a lot of times y'all, they're hungry. They knew they was going to be eating good so they didn't eat before they got to your house. So a lot of times just some some quick and easy little finger foods are much appreciated. Whether it's a cream cheese with a um, pepper jelly on top of it. But I'm just going to show you real quick kind of what 
kind of what this is. So, at the rendezvous in Memphis, they will bring you a cheese, the, uh, the sausage cheese platter. It'll have your sausage cut up, it'll have some cheese on it, and it'll have some pepperoncino chilies. Chilies, not just not chilies, peppers on it. And you can slice these. I've been snacking on this one, y'all. I got hungry out there working on that power washer. That thing will kick your hiney. What you talking about? But I'm just gonna cut these up. And you can cut these into whatever slice. If you want them to be uh, thinly sliced, it depends on how many people you have coming over. Or you could do thicker ones, it just, or if you're gonna do them on crackers, you have to know your crowd, y'all. And so, I'm just gonna slice this up. Now, this is a great thing to do on a big platter, a big platter. You can just, I've, I've been at friends' house when they've done this and they've had a huge pile of kielbasa and a huge pile of cheese. But you could just do it for one or two people. It doesn't have to be a big deal. So, I'm just gonna take a few of these now you could toss these in your, um, with some barbecue sauce if you want to, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of this, this rub that we made earlier. And I got a little too much right there in my hand, didn't I? I sure did. It's not gonna go to waste. Put it on everything else. Okay. Okay, so let's get us a pepper or two. And I did look it up, and Charlie Virgos, V-E-R-G-O-S, was the founder of The Rendezvous, and he and his brother had been in the meat business in Memphis for a while, and I think they didn't say eye to eye, as brothers are apt to do. And one of the funny things, one of my college professors was a roommate of Mr. Virgos. And uh, Dr. Brinkley would talk about how uh, Mr. Charlie didn't even have a sports coat or a car. <laughs> so whenever he would go on a date, he would have to borrow Dr. Brinkley's um, glad rags and his, and his convertible pickup, uh, convertible car to go and go sparking. <laughs> and they're going to serve it with uh, some crackers as well. There we go. All right, y'all. In honor of Memphis in May, we got us a rendezvous cheese plate, and it's gonna hit the spot while we're waiting on those ribs to be done. And just hope everybody has a great weekend. Fire that grill up, summer is coming. We've got all kinds of things, uh, all kinds of side dishes, all kinds of summer time, summertime, sun, sun, summertime, summertime. It's my favorite time of the year, y'all, it is. So, I'll see y'all next time, and y'all go do something fun. Bye, y'all. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mm mm. Mercy. That's Larrapin, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all.